Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. Today we are going to take a look at another of these Primal Clash figures, and it is one that was actually recently requested, so I decided to pull this sucker out and get it up here on the channel for you guys. This is the Triceratops Dino Commander set, and uh, it's one of the bigger ones. There are two bigger ones currently out at Walmart, and it is this, the Triceratops, and there's also a Mammoth version. So, uh, Today we'll be looking at the first of the large ones, and that's the Triceratops, so let's take a look at the box. As you can see, you've got a cool picture here of, I believe, what is a Mosasaur, and unfortunately, this is not going to be released in the United States, or at least that's what Lanner Toys has told me. I recently emailed them to ask them about this and the Tyrannosaurus, because they do have both of those in the lineup of Jurassic Clash, and the response I got is that they are not part of the Walmart deal. So, as of right now, we will not be getting that, or the Tyrannosaurus Rex. There's also, I believe, a big ape, and I'm not really sure what else exactly, because I'm not too familiar with the Jurassic Clash line, but I know, again, that we will not be getting at least this Mosasaur and the T-Rex. I'd imagine the ape probably goes along in the same area as those with things we won't be getting, unfortunately. But I guess things can always change. You can see a very cool side here of the box. It's got some scratch marks and the Primal Clash logo and a little see-through area to see the Triceratops. And then the back, there shows you the Triceratops set and the Mammoth set themselves. And of course the info on Primal Clash. And then the side here is pretty much exactly the same as the opposing side, except now we are looking at the Triceratops' butt. So, without further ado, let's get this out of the box. Now before we actually go any further, I got this halfway out of the box, and as you can see, this is what the inside of the box looks like. You can actually pull this whole thing out, and honestly, I think this is really, really quite cool. And if you are just a collector for the sake of uh, just collecting them, and not like me where I open them to review them and everything, this would actually be a pretty cool way to display them inside this box. I think that actually looks really quite awesome. Definitely a very cool box. And there is the Triceratops set now out of the package and first glance I must say I am really really impressed with the sculpt work on this Triceratops it's actually really quite incredible even the paint itself seems to be uh, really beautifully applied so we will get to this in just a second but some of the things that come with this as you can see it's uh, a few different types of weapons that the human figure himself actually gets you can see here's another a version of an axe. The first one was like an axe with a saw. We get a regular type of an axe, and then we have some kind of a pick. But uh, three very cool weapons that are just kind of hanging out in the box as additions. The human character himself is uh, also really quite cool, honestly. He's different, really uh, quite different from the other ones. He actually has a little gun up here in a, in a uh, holster, which is held on currently with a rubber band. I'm not going to take that off because I don't really see the need to. He's also got a knife here, a very large knife in his hand, also held on currently with a rubber band. So if you do want to play with them, it's not a bad idea to keep these uh, rubber bands on, or at least with the knife anyway, because it'll keep it right there in his hand. He won't be dropping the knife all the time. I'm not really sure how well they hold the actual weapons, but I know when I was a kid and I had things like this, they never held the weapons very good. So again, maybe not a, the worst idea to keep the rubber band on the knife. But as always with the articulation, you can see there's articulation in the head, in the shoulder and elbow joints, the hip, and the knee, and the same goes for the opposing side, all the same, and then the swivel of the waist. So very, very cool. The overall human figure is actually really beautifully done too, and there is a significant amount of paint applied. It's really nice, even to the point where these... Uh, this belt here around his chest and the bombs that are sitting on it are actually really nicely painted so they've done a very very good job as far as the human character goes and painting him I think he looks really really cool we are here to take a look at the Triceratops so let's start to disassemble all of this stuff I will say that uh, without question this was probably the most difficult one of these figures to actually get out of the box because he was really good. They were not messing around when it came to keeping this dinosaur in there nice and secure. As usual with these sets, they uh, normally have like a little peg that you push down into the back of the dinosaur, and that is the same with this. Oh, look at that. There's some articulation in this weapon itself, or whatever this thing would be. 
I have no idea exactly what this is supposed to be, but uh, regardless, it's there. And then you get the big saddle, which you'll have to undo. So you can take the uh, saddle itself off, and then of course this huge thing, whatever, I guess it's a generator or something. And now the Triceratops is free. Look at how cool looking that Triceratops is. So let's go ahead and see how cool it looks up close. So taking a look here at the head sculpt, it seems to be done really, really nicely. There's some very nice detail here on the actual beak of the Triceratops, including even a little crack here on the side, just uh, really giving it an extra level of realism. I really like that. The inside of the mouth seems to be colored, painted really nicely. A very nice realistic coloration for the inside of the mouth. And uh, it actually looks like the mouth is articulated, which it is. Look at that. That's, that's some pretty cool stuff right there. At one point, uh, the only Triceratops, I believe, that was out there that really had articulation in the mouth that I knew of would have been the PNSO one, so you've actually got an alternate now as far as articulation in the mouth of a Triceratops goes. Again, looking at this side, some very nice detail in the beak area. The horn up here on the top looks very cool, and it's actually painted really nicely. It kind of has a dark brown, and then they appear to have taken a lighter brown and dry brushed it over top of the horn and that dark brown so that looks pretty darn cool and the sculpt work as we come up the uh, face of the triceratops also looks very good beautifully sculpted scale work all over the place really nice he's got a kind of a chubby throat area here the underside of his head but it looks pretty nice We've got the horn here on the side of the face it looks really nice as well sculpted really well actually and uh, interestingly enough the eye is actually white with the background and then you've got a yellow loop around the pupil with the black being the pupils, so three different colorations included right there with the eye, so Mattel, take note because this is how you paint an eye, looks much better than what we've been getting with the Mattel figures. And these horns up here are painted exactly the same way as the first horn there on the nose, looks really really nice, they have that dark coloration, that dark brown like a burnt umber almost, and then the lighter brown that they've dry brushed over, bringing out all the really nice detail of those horns looks super cool and then we come up here to the frill and you can see some more very nice sculpt work all over the place even up here on the top of the head the sculpting of this triceratops is super impressive honestly for being a uh, kind of a cheaper toy it's really really impressively nice i actually really want to repaint one of these at one point and i most likely will i think this could look really beautiful with a repaint not saying that this looks bad because actually this looks really nice i dig the colors quite significantly i love that they've actually given the triceratops kind of a brighter look especially up here on the frill you can see on top of the yellow that's added here there is also some orange kind of coloration that's been dry brushed here and there just giving it that flashy type of a look and uh, again adding some yellow here around the eye and then down here by the nostril looks super cool very flashy but at the same time very potentially realistic so I really like the way that this has been painted coming back looking behind the frill again some pretty darn nice sculpt work back there as well and this is where I think the sculpt looks really nice is actually the body I think the uh, the arms here look at that beautiful scale work and then you've got some osteoderms here and there beautifully sculpted feet and the nails are painted the sculpting of the back also looks very very nice some more beautiful osteoderms here and there. You can really get an idea of the movement again of the dinosaur by the way the skin is folding all over the body like up here in the hip region which you can actually take note of the hip bone being elaborated there as well and the rear leg is very muscular really huge as far as the musculature goes. It's beautifully sculpted the scales on this thing are really nice. Come down you see the kneecap, big calf muscles, really nicely done and there is the rear foot also very nicely sculpted. There's actually some more coloration, even more here on the underside. There's like this light brown, just kind of uh, hidden. You wouldn't even have noticed it really, unless you flip the dinosaur over. There, you can see it pretty nicely there. So that's cool. Again, really nicely painted. And then you see the detail here in the tail, some more skin folds and wrinkling of the skin as you run the length of the very short Triceratops tail. And then taking a look at this side, it's very similar to the opposing side, but just as nice, honestly really beautifully sculpted that scale work looks fantastic everywhere on this dinosaur and again you can see the hip bone protruding there some more wrinkles of the skin and the stomach really beautifully sculpted honestly this is super impressive considering that this is a, a much lesser known company lantern toys 
And honestly, after looking at these Primal Clash figures, I think that they're severely underrated because these are really, really nice. So definitely a very, very nice sculpted Triceratops. So another of the uh, actually quite interesting aspects of this Triceratops is the weight. It's actually really quite heavy, much heavier than the uh, Mattel Triceratops. But honestly, I think the reason this, like if we look at it this way, you get 15 bucks for this guy. You also get the human character and a whole bunch of accessories like the saddle, the big generator thing, and some hand weapons and everything like that. But, unfortunately, you don't get as much articulation in this dinosaur as you get with the Mattel one. Interestingly enough though, the one area that you do get articulation is the mouth, which you don't get on the Mattel Triceratops. But, they run about the same price, and uh, honestly, I think that this one definitely beats the Mattel Triceratops. The overall quality of it, because it's actually really, really sturdy, very heavy, and uh, definitely a solid figure. It's very, very solid. Much different compared to the Mattel Triceratops, which honestly I think is a big, huge plus for Lanard Toys if they can release something like this and have it be of a much higher quality than something made by Mattel, which is a very large toy company, I definitely have to take my hat off to Lanner Toys. As far as the size goes on the Triceratops, from the tail to the tip of the beak, guys, you're looking at about 9 inches or about 23 centimeters, and for a height, you are looking at about 4 and a quarter inches, maybe a little more, or about 11 centimeters. For a size comparison, there is the Triceratops next to Mr. Papo Rex. You can see that this Triceratops is a pretty darn large figure because Mr. Papo Rex himself is a significantly large figure. And if the Rex is not careful, he's about to catch a horn straight in the throat. So uh, let's get him out of there before any more damage can be done. And for a second size comparison, here is the Mattel Triceratops. And you can see that next to the Lanard Toys Triceratops, it is definitely quite a bit bigger than the Lanard Toys one. You can see right there that the uh, Triceratops from Mattel is definitely bigger. But uh, at the same time, I feel like the Lanard Toys one is a bit higher quality compared to the Mattel one, basically because it's very uh, solid feeling. It's, it really feels high quality, whereas this feels hollow and cheaper. But it's really a tough call to decide who is sculpted better because the Mattel one actually has incredible detail on it and uh, at the same time so does the Lanner Toys one so I guess I'll really leave it up to you guys to decide which one of these two you think is better but honestly I think both are quite awesome so another very cool Primal Clash figure honestly this is probably my favorite so far just because this Triceratops is really really nice and uh, just a little info for anybody interested I threw that little pick there up in the guy's hand and he actually holds it really really well so you may not need to keep that rubber band there on after all but I mean it's not gonna hurt anything if you keep it on there but again the human figure actually does hold it really nicely like I was saying this is a really really cool set you can see the overall appearance of it is quite striking very beautiful reminds me a lot again of Dino Riders but at the same time it kind of reminds me a little bit of Dinotopia where they used to ride on dinosaurs in that book as well and there was also actually I believe a TV show for it which was also really awesome and this overall set is really beautiful the Triceratops has awesome paint applied it's got many different colorations on it it looks overall beautiful the sculpting and everything is fantastic and again on something that is basically just a cheaper toy it's really quite impressive and uh, really nicely done you of course get the articulated jaw on the Triceratops which is a huge plus as well in my opinion and I think it honestly looks pretty darn nice a lot of the time on herbivores articulated jaws can look pretty strange and although it doesn't look perfect on this Triceratops it's definitely not bad I honestly do really quite like it so this set in my opinion is definitely a surefire win so if you do want to pick one up head to your local Walmart as I said they'll run you about fifteen dollars but for all the stuff you get with it, it is definitely worth it. And again, the Triceratops itself is probably worth the $15 price ranges. It is really quite high quality. Hopefully I'll get a hold of one of these guys again in the very near future to maybe repaint. But for now, I've got this one and that's good enough. I think it's awesome and you should probably pick one up too because trust me, you'll think the same 
So head to your local Walmart, go find one of these, and please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.